this week, I'll be sharing another work week in my life. I'm also taking off Friday so I can go to the Bay Area for another trip. This project involves using SQL in Google BigQuery, and then I'll be filling out the numbers into the Excel spreadsheet. Going for a little walk outside just to take a little break. I used were communicating well with my manager since I was working on a project where I was supporting her on the Excel spreadsheet. I also worked on organization because I added comments to my code. So that's something that you'll need to do as a data analyst so that other people can read your code and it's reproducible. The tools I used were Google BigQuery, SQL, and Excel. So my workday got a little bit busier since I have a deadline that's in two days but I always eat my lunch away from my desk. My package from Majory came. We are making earrings. <laughs> you can see it's a mess. <laughs> and this is what I have so far. We made earrings. Finishing the night with some Duolingo. Good morning. It's Tuesday and I'm spending the morning looking at my emails. I also have a new project coming up, so I'm going to meet with the manager in about five minutes to talk about that. A lighter workload this week because I am mainly working on learning DBT, which is one of the ways that you can um, automate code. And I will also have a project next week where I need to review some research on low value care in telehealth. Off to my daily walk. I usually walk for about one to two minutes outside just for a little break. For the rest of the day, I don't have any meetings. An ice vanilla latte to wake me up. So as a data analyst, you'll need to work on reading and writing analytic plans. This involves writing about your cohort, the timeline, adding features to your data set, as well as the output. So this may be a slide deck or a report, a data visualization dashboard. For the rest of the afternoon, I'll be looking at my coworker's analytic plan since I will be using her data set next week and adding new features to it. You also need to have research skills because you need context for the data that you're working with. This involves looking up resources online and making sure that they're scientifically backed. I usually do a mini crossword puzzle since it's only supposed to take about a minute. So I just had a meeting with my Women in Network mentee. She is a data scientist at a startup and that was our last meeting because we are now switching mentees for the year. As an advisor for Women in Network, I've mentored one person who is a data scientist that I just got off the call with and another person interested in getting into data analysis. Time to train for the half marathon. Wednesday and I'm joining the mindfulness session that happens every week. Today I'm continuing the research I'm doing on low value and high value care in telehealth. That will be most of my day and I'm going to work at a cafe with a friend. Of the rhythm of your breathing. There's no need to change. Today I got mushroom free toast and a lavender oat latte. I'm currently working in this coffee shop and I have really good coffee. I got some lunch, um, mushroom toast, and now I'm just doing 
Thanks. I have a career chat with someone interested in data and I will be giving them some resources of how to apply for data analysis positions specific to their background. I am a little bit tired because I've been running for the past two days, so my legs kind of feel like jelly, but I'm excited to work today, especially because I have three meetings, which is kind of unusual. I usually don't have any meetings or just one or two. And tomorrow I'm taking PTO for a Bay Area trip. In the mornings I usually check my Slack messages, emails, and schedule meetings for next week. Today I have a team meeting, which we have weekly. Then I'll be working with my coworker to work on DBT, which syncs up the models that we create with the data warehouse. And in the afternoon, I have a follow-up meeting on one of my projects. It will be with one of the people in the operations team since I have been working closely with them for a project. Next, I'll be running a macro in DBT. So this is where you set a variable that you need to easily change and then the code will stay the same. So when you run the macro, it will change for each client, for example. My way to the bay. Now we are going to get some brunch. So we got the summer squash quiche and breakfast tacos. We're up bright and early on Saturday. I'm wearing my homemade earrings, this Lululemon crossbody bag, and this jacket I thrifted. We're at the Santa Cruz Boardwalk. Now we're gonna try tea life in San Jose. I got strawberry jasmine milk tea from tea life. Usually I go to Pico when I'm in San Jose. Uh, I still think I like Pico better. I'm getting mochi cream. It's like mochi ice cream, but instead it has cream inside. So today is Sunday. I ran 2.83 miles so far. I have the way back. On the weekends, in my long runs, and I focus less on the timing, but more on the distance that I can go. And this is my first long run for my marathon. Now I only have 6.6 .6 miles to go to complete a half marathon. But for now, my training is done. 
another week. I had a meeting with the clinical team because I'm working with a lot of diagnoses codes. And next I'll be looking at my coworkers code and doing a lot of exploratory analyses for a new project. Today I'm eating at Lincoln. We have some Indian food with a blue corn muffin, as well as a bechamel pizza and a panada. And some dessert. We got the second round of this pizza. Taking a walk at the Salesforce Park.